Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to, and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of We're Doing Paperwork and Printing. So, <coughs> this goes out to Eric. You called me a dumbass. I know you are, but, I mean, you know, this goes out not just to you, Eric, but to the fake atheist. And I've made plenty of videos about the fake atheist before. If you're a state theist, you are not an atheist. Okay, and then this, I'll deal with some of the stupidity that I've, I've gotten from fake atheist. Um, one, somebody just called me a dumbass. You're not uh, dealing with any facts there. You're just stating an opinion that is based on nothing. Um, another one I got was, uh, well, there's a TV in the background. So what? My wife is watching the TV. So what? Uh, third, my hair. So what? My hair is wild. You're not dealing with anything specific to defeat any argument that I've made. Because you know you're a state theist. Or you worship science or something like that. A true atheist does not have any gods. Okay? Not the god of the state. Not the god of science. Not any gods. What do I say? No gods, no leaders. Which should give you some inclination that I'm an anarchist, individualist anarchist, anarcho-capitalist. And no, capitalism, in capitalism, the businesses do not own you. Okay? Not in true capitalism, anyway, which says a lot about the people who've made some stupid comments. Um, and state theism and communism, fascism, monarchism, uh, socialism, etc., then the state owns you. Well, I own myself. Nobody else owns me. Um, you know, don't get capitalism confused with, um, oh, now I forget what, it, what it's called. Um, anyway, the system of, of government we have now, th this is corporatism not capitalism. Big difference. Um, and most of you probably think um, Hitler, Franco, and Mussolini were not socialist, even though they were avowed socialist. Uh, they had socialist programs. Hitler said he was a socialist many, many times. There was no private ownership of property in Nazi Germany, although there was the facade of private ownership, just like in the United States. There is the facade of private ownership, but it doesn't actually exist. When you have eminent domain, taxation, and regulation, you do not have private ownership of property. Now, if we bought property, do you think we'd actually pay taxes? Nope. And I guarantee you we'd protect our land. So another thing that was said was, oh, well, he must be a secret religious, secretly, uh, he must secretly be a religious person. Again, you're, you're just wanting that to be the case, but it's not. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of the other stuff, but, you know, you just go to the fake atheist YouTube pages and their, their blogs and so forth and so on, and their love of the state, my gosh! You know, so the atheist experience. They don't hide their love of the state. The amazing atheist, who is not amazing, he doesn't hide his state worship. You know, and I love all you you Obama supporters who uh, pretend not to be Obama supporters, like um, oh, what's that idiot's name? Um, Aaron Raw. He said, well, he asked the question, when did I ever say I supported Obama? You attended an Obama rally. You promoted an Obama rally. You spoke at an Obama rally, i.e., the so-called Reason Rally. It was an Obama love fest. Just go and look at the videos and see what people said and what people were doing. It was an Obama rally. Even if it wasn't called that, that's still what it was. 
Yeah, I see with the, the, the government spying on you. Now, if Bush would have been doing what Obama's doing, all these people would be up in arms, and rightfully so. I was up in arms, and I still am. I'm still against the next war. I'm still against the next president. I haven't changed my views. Some of you have. You're hypocrites. Please do not call yourself an atheist if you are a state theist or you worship something. The amazing atheist, he's not, there's nothing amazing about him. I don't think the guy even works. I don't think he's ever worked. I think he sits on his fat rear end at home all day collecting SSI and making stupid videos that he doesn't even know what he's talking about. So, anyway. So, I've said my piece. Oh, and see, there's a, let me, um, got some other things. My wife is a Christian. I have nothing against her. I have nothing against her religion. I have no, nothing against her believing in a God. Okay, it doesn't hurt me, and it doesn't hurt you. And for some of those people out there who want to outlaw religion, you're idiots. Okay, you're never going to outlaw anyway. You're a religious person. You worship the state. So shut up. Gosh.